to reach if you reach. What's good, my Edgeby brothers and sisters, man? We back here with another video, and today, this is my first episode of my opinion, and this is my, in quotation marks, podcast of where I rebuild NBA teams and give my opinion on what could help the team and see if I can rebuild them in one season and win a championship. So um, I want to start off with the Lakers because they just signed J.J. Reddick, so I'm going to fire Darvin Ham, and we're starting off in the off season today. Um, now I can redo teams and stuff, do teams from any era. So you won't just see teams like from this year, uh, any, t so basically, um, all 30 teams from each five eras there are in the game. I'm pretty sure there's five. So you have, we have a lot of options to choose from. We can even choose championship teams if we wanted to kind of like, um, I don't know, like see if we can do back-to-back -back championship teams or make one a really good team into a championship team, whatever matters, you know. But today I wanted to start off with the Lakers because they've made some already big moves to their roster. LeBron um, figuring out if he wants to accept his player option. Apparently the Lakers are going to re-offer him again, and they just signed J.J. Redick. And um, it's a lot of stuff I want to do with this team. That's why I started off in the offseason. I want to really restart with this team because that's what they need but also do it in one year to try to give LeBron that fifth championship that he needs um so this is my opinion stuff is just going to be my opinion remember um you know 15 year old I do have some likeliness of smartness from the the NBA and I do have some uh some very good I guess quality thinking skills about the league but sometimes my opinions are going to be wrong and that's why it's called my opinion Things are just going to happen. So, um, we're just going to start here in the off season. Hall of Fame. This stuff doesn't. Okay, these these are the Hall of Fame inductees. I'm, I'm tweaking. I thought they were, like, retired this year or something. The Lakers were not in a lottery. Wizards get the first pick. The Spurs, the Magic, the Jazz. Where are we? We get the 17th pick like we did in real life. Now... Darvin Ham is our head coach. Dar Darvin Ham is really good in this game, but I don't want Darvin Ham. So uh, I'm going to see what else coaches there are up here. They just hired um, J.J. Redick, but uh, J.J. Redick's not in the game as a coach. So I'm not going to hire Darvin Ham. If I'm hiring, if I'm hiring a coach, I think I think our best option is probably Kevin Ollie. Um. We're we're gonna try to we're gonna try to sign Kevin Ollie. I hired Darvin Ham for that position, and Darvin Ham does accept move him over. So Kevin Ollie is our new head coach, and Chris Gent we're gonna fire him, and we're going to look for a new guy. Um, oh, notably I want a head coach, but if there are no head coaches that catch my eye, then we move over to assistant, and if there's some assistants that can't catch my eye here. Um. I think James Borrego got picked up, so we're going to be left out on that one there. Uh, there are some NBA players probably that are down there, but we're just going to look back at head coaches and see what I can find. Scouts. Um, Wimby goes first to the, to the Wizards. Our draft, Derek Lively is still here. Um, he's not going to be very good. But he can most definitely come off the bench. 100% can come off the bench. And Marcus Sasser is still here. Can be our guard that comes off the bench and gives us a little shooting, hopefully. So those are my two signings that I like. No team options. Uh, qualifying offers, we're going to accept both of these. They're pretty cheap guys, so they're pretty good to keep. We're, we, we have negative $59 million in cap room, and Lonnie Walker is our only guy. So I want to see what's on our cap hole and let anything go. D'Angelo Russell. Nah. I don't see any guys worth to let go other than these little smaller guys down here. D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, let's, let's let them off the books. 
and let's go on and Walker go. Okay. We got some money in cap, but I wanted to get rid of D'Angelo. Um, so we don't have a point guard. So that's what we're looking for. We can sign D'Angelo back to a shorter deal. I think that's what we should do. I want to probably flat his contract and put like a, you know, something on here. But I think we should do this deal. We're not paying him as much. So it seems perfect to me. Um, and we also need to stretch a lot better this year. So Rui would be good to get back. Yaka Pertl probably is a perfect signing for us. We can probably get Yaka Pertl. They both agreed. That's perfect. And, and we match with Rui. I like this. Uh, we don't have enough for Jakob. Where, what centers are we looking at? Kevin Love. He can stretch the floor a tad bit. We'll sign him to a one-year deal. He decided to sign with the Heat, of course. Um, Jalen McDaniels. He's not as good at his, as his brother. I want a good uh, defensive guard. Or not guard. Uh, wing, but there's none up here. Josh Richardson probably is a... Is a very good signing. Let's sign Josh Richardson. And I think that's it for our free agency. Russell Westbrook is still here. I would sign him, but it costs too much. And the rest of these guys are just probably not worth getting at all. So, y'all need to see player progression. I'll see y'all when the season starts. Okay, to start out the season, this is our rotation. We have D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, LeBron. Jared Vanderbilt, Anthony Davis, Rui, Malik Beasley, Mo Bamba, Josh Richardson. And to end it off, we have just a bunch of other guys. Derek Lively, we're going to use him as a trade piece, actually, because we're only doing one season. So let's move AD back to power forward, and let's try to let's try to package. Hold on, let's, let's, let's look at Team Intel and see what, what they're thinking about. So Isaiah Todd, this is our package. Derek Lively, Max Christie, Mo Bamba for Isaiah Todd and Daniel Gafford. They accept it. So now we have a rolling center to go along with Anthony Davis. And this is what they were looking for. Dwight Howard isn't in the game anymore. Dwight Howard would be a perfect candidate. But if we really want to, we can probably get like JaVale McGee just on the low. He's probably on the, on the Kings riding away. Or let's look let's look for Javel and see where he's at. Click Capella might be our guy. I forgot I gotta add Malik Beasley back. So if we do this, Click Capella would undoubtedly be our starting center. And like I said, this is exactly what they need. So we put him there. Daniel Gafford rolls to the bench. And now we actually need to get a scorer, and that's what I'll trade uh Jared Vanderbilt for. And we can't give away Josh Richardson right now, so we're just going to have to roll with whatever we can get with Jared Vanderbilt. But I don't see anybody that works out. Isaiah Joe does what we want. We want somebody to stretch the floor. So I'll trade for Isaiah Joe to start off the season. But this is our rotation. So I'll see y'all when we're probably in like January, February. So I'll see y'all then. So I think it's time to use Marcus Sasser, and let's do Ty, 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 uh, Ty Jerome and Marcus Sasser. We can't use any first, so let's let's run them on with a second and see if we can get some type of actual like bench score. But I don't really see anything right here. It's a top pick, like not a top pick, top three protected pick in Jake uh, Laravia. I think we go for this top pick. Top three protected, and we pair him with Justice Winslow. That top three protected, and um, we get Matisse. I saw Matisse Thibault. Yeah, I'm not really getting anything. This is where we get stuck. We'll do Miles McBride, and right now this is our rotation. Um, I got an idea. I'm gonna try to cook up right quick. I'm gonna try. Okay, 
might not be the person that we wanted, but I traded for Trey Jones. And Trey Jones isn't necessarily bad. So I think we got a pretty decent bench. Miles McBride, we could probably pair him along with somebody and see if we can get something else. But I think this is really all we're getting for the price. I think we roll for the rest of the season. Matisse, pretty good stretch guy. So we'll get him. He can play some defense for us. And uh, I'll sign some people out of free agency probably that we can use for the low end. Um, just some three-point shooting guys that, that can probably do something for us, hopefully. So I think good signing that we can do. Um, I saw you don't want to be, but you don't want to be. So we'll sign him. Rest of the season, I think we'll just cook up from here. See what we can do. Austin Reeves will come back soon. So I'm sorry, my you know mic went off. I guess, but as you can see, we had a actually a pretty hard playoff run coming to the end, and then made some adjustments to the lineup. As you can see, turned up the minutes a tad bit, and we just ended up winning a championship. So that's really it. <laughs> Yeah.